Hey, what's going on, y'all? So in this video, I'm going to be showing you a new plugin that came out yesterday in the Epic Games Marketplace that lets you mimic the anamorphic look. Now, as you all know, I have been trying to do this forever, and I'm hoping one day Unreal actually would implement this natively in Engine. But for now, for $10, I'm going to show you what you can do. So that being said, go to the Marketplace. And by the way, I am not affiliated with this individual. As you all know, I'm just really, really obsessed with anamorphic look, and I actually personally purchased this twice, one before when it's in beta, and then I purchased it again today that it came out in Epic Marketplace. So it's right here, Anamorphic Depth of Field by Blu-ray Addict. And I'm gonna go ahead and add this to my project, City Sample 6, and I'll add this to the project and then open up the project now. Okay, so let me go ahead and dismiss this here because I'm not gonna be using my Steam VR. And I'll make this go up. This is actually in the content. And what you're gonna see is an Anamorphic DOF folder and it's in the blueprint. And let's just drag and drop this into the scene and go up. Now this is gonna compile some shaders here and automatically you're going to see a little bit of something here and we'll make that bigger. And let's see here, let's just find something. Yeah, this one's, mm, let's have a little bit, let's find something that has a little bit more depth of field here. So, and you can really see that, right? How about this van right here? So I'm gonna go right here and I'll just shrink this down. So we have these lights right here and I'm going to the details. Now, if I scroll down right here, you are going to see that there is an anamorphic focus distance. So if I change this here, you're gonna see our depth of field is getting blurrier. So what this is actually doing is changing the focus distance. Like if you were to manually focus on an actual lens, this is what it's doing which is pretty darn cool. Now I will change the squeeze ratio to 2.0, even though 1.8 looks good too, but for me, I really, really like that squeeze look. Now, if you shoot in real life, you know that the closer you get, the more depth of field you'll get in the background. So if I do a little bit of close up here, we can show that even more like so. And now you have those amazing oval bokeh that I absolutely love. He has a little bit more options in here. Anamorphic samples is gonna make that a little bit better. Now you see this flickering, but whenever I render this, you're not gonna see that flicker. This is just in the editor. So you don't worry about those, but my goodness, this is a lot better than the method that I've been trying before. And this is a lot easier because it's all here. And all you have to do is actually render this in an anamorphic uh, aspect ratio, which, you know, I already do sometimes anyway, but man, this is super cool. So let me go ahead and find another place where we can kind of mess around with here, or mess around with this. All right, let me see if I can find another area where there's kind of a lot more lights or anything like that. Oh, uh, this is probably good. I did have like a video right here. So what I'll do is I'll drop, I'll drop a character. I'll, dr I'll drop a character right here. We'll actually put it in a sequencer. So you can kind of see how that works in a sequencer as well. So I have meta human here and I have this girl that I've been testing my new custom meta human. She looks really good. So we have her sitting right there barefoot. It's okay. I'm going to create a new sequence then. And we're going to just type this Ana for anamorphic. And I will go ahead and track actor sequence. JS girl two is okay. And then what I'll do is I'll grab that blueprint right here and I'm gonna click and say snap object to view and it's gonna get right in front of her then. I'll go ahead and pilot that camera and let's scroll up a little bit. And obviously she looks like Shiza because there's really not much lighting in here. This is all just the lumen lighting. I will add this blueprint then to the actor sequence level sequence. If you want to control that depth of field in the sequencer, all you have to do is click track and then anamorphic focus distance and you can actually animate this. So if I want to rack focus, I can do that. So let's say we started with out of focus and maybe in like 55 frames, I'm going to go ahead and get her in focus just like so. Now, if you want to, I'm so used to using the actual, uh, what I call the spot assist in here. Um, if, if you want to use that, you can and just turn it off if you want, if you go right here, because this is an actual camera. And if I go right here and actually go to manual, I can actually turn this on. And what I'll do is I'll actually find that focus like so, because it is actually physically accurate. And I'm going to copy this. 
right? And I'm going to go ahead and disable that. And we're going to go back to the anamorphic focus distance right here. I'm going to paste this and then go ahead and add a keyframe. Now, I'm hoping maybe Dylan can actually add this feature in his anamorphic blueprint itself so I don't have to do that every time. But as you can see, that just looks a lot better. So let's go ahead and do a quick high resolution screenshot of this just to two so you can kind of see what this looks like here. Go right here and click on this. And as you can see, depth of field, you can see that they are oval and the camera is actually set up right now to render this resolution already, okay? And again, man, obviously I'm not sponsored to make this video, but as you all know, I've been wanting some type of anamorphic depth of field in Unreal Engine. And for now, until they actually have it in Engine, uh, natively, we're gonna have to go with this. But before I go, sponsor time real quick. If you haven't done so, go ahead and check out my How to Create a Movie in Unreal Engine 5 course in Udemy. As you all know, this is pretty much my main income as far as supporting this channel. So the more money I make here, the more I'm gonna be able to give away as far as the channel goes and the more content I can actually make. Go ahead and check it out. It's super cool. And I think it's really fast in about three and a half hours, you're gonna be able to create something in Unreal which is super epic. The FBX mocap files were professionally made by professionals and they are included in this actual project here. So you don't need a mocap suit or anything to follow along. I included the mocap animations for you all.